If you want to know what virtual sessions look like, here's a recap of one of them. This is Leo and we're working on crate training. He's already done the in and out game with treats, but he's learned that if his mom doesn't have any treats to throw in there, he won't go in. So now what we're doing is taking treats in our hand and instead of tossing it in there, we're going to put our hand in or near the crates, encouraging him to go inside. We're just going to wait and once his legs go in, he gets the treats. So you can see here he's a little hesitant, backing away. But I told her not to move, keep her hand there, and just wait. He already knows the in and out game by now, so we're just trying to get him to think and figure it out. Still waiting. And voila! Now that he goes in, she gives him the treats as a reward. There were plenty of times where he went in very quickly, but I just want to show you what it looks like when the dog doesn't go in very quickly. Just be patient. So we're being patient and we're waiting again. And you can see Leo's trying to think here. And then he starts to go in, but then he sits down. So again, back to waiting. There we go. All four feet in, then he gets rewarded. The most important thing about crate training is that you make the crate a very fun and desirable place to be in. We're not using it to punish the dogs. We want the dogs to go in the crate multiple times a day throughout the day so that this becomes a normal thing. It's not just to go to sleep and it's not just when we're leaving. So when you normalize going in the crate and you make it fun, the dog is more likely going to go in when you ask him. And we're waiting. And there we go.